Hello. Hello everyone. My name is Sagar and I'm from Nepal, Kathmandu. So I came to Canada in this August 2023 and I'm currently studying in Western Community College as diploma student. So this is my third semester. So hi, my name is Tanvi and this is my second semester in WCC. I came in August last year and uh, but I was in different college so I changed my college and I am in like uh, hospitality management right now. So welcome to this podcast. This is WCC first podcast and in this podcast we're gonna discuss about the academic life and the personal life of students studying in Canada right now. How are you like in Canada like till now? Like till now it's okay. It's, it's fine. It's nice. I'm surviving. Um, <laughs> That's what matter. <laughs> yeah. So how many days class do you have? I have in- three. Three days. Yeah, my okay. like my schedule got messed up at the last moment. I st- I still remember they will like they will put me in like another day, and I was like, no, I can't do it because I have work. Then I have my life too outside work and outside study. I don't wanna give four days uh, to studies. I I can't do it. So then now I'm studying like three days, and then I I'll go to work like maybe three or four days mostly on like like weekends you have yeah. class like four days right yes yeah, so oh I my have, god how are you holding up <laughs> i don't know like uh, i have class from monday to thursday and from friday to sunday i have like work studying is okay but uh, having class is okay but the hardest part is waking up in the morning you know for, oh the, my god, for yes. the classes i'm could, not even getting my full sleep like i would yeah. come to class and I would be like half sleep like this and my friends would be like are you okay like I remember like Dennis sir like once like uh, came like uh, to me in break and he was like Tanvi are you okay is something going on are you okay I'm like I am fine what happened to me <laughs> like, like you don't look okay to me <laughs> and I was like no sir I'm just sleepy that's why <laughs> because I watch I was watching a movie last night and that too horror so that's why like yesterday I was just playing game till like 3 a.m and I just woke up at like 9 to come to the college and I was like I'll just sleep some more for like 5 minutes, 10 minutes more and I just sleep again and I just look at the phone like to make sure like time hasn't gone like <laughs> you know whenever whenever you just sleep and like you don't want to wake up yeah. and you just put the clock alarm like for 5, five minutes, minutes and 5, five, 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 five till yeah. you get annoyed and you be like yeah. okay I think I should just wake up <laughs> yeah. And like having a roommate with like relationship. Oh you know? my god! <laughs> yeah. You can't like sleep. Like whenever you're trying to sleep, they they will be like sometimes fighting. They will just ah. Oh, I I don't have, really have any roommate. Just stop. It's it. just me. So that's good. So how do you manage like your shifts and your classes? It was easier for me because of the college too. Like they helped me to schedule my classes so I just went in the office and asked for the help they just helped me easily to change the course at the time that I want mm-hmm. and also in my work there is the new head chef so he's like very good like he's very good to me I mean like <laughs> like whenever time I just I'm free like uh, in a week so he just put me in those days only like he understands mm-hmm. day before yesterday's uh, there was like big event or something going on the new west and there were like a lot of kids but I was supposed to do like just for the eight hours you know like the, that's the maximum shift like in a day you can do but I was trying to like clock out from the restaurant and like I, j- I did the clock out and my head chef saw me and he was like why did you clock out you just work more on, on some money you want to be rich and he was like he's so chill i mean like yeah just clock in again i'll just do clock in and just and there was like literally no work started to grab the oysters and just wash it so it's the easiest job like i just <laughs> yeah Bro, I, just, I, will, I will run away <laughs> when i see one oyster no it's it's like it's not hard like uh they just bring the oyster in a box so you just yeah. have to or alive. Say like the oysters are alive till we just plug it oh out. Oh my god. And it's still alive when it's eating. What? When we eat, yeah. <laughs> People be eating alive stuff. Yeah, but I, I've never tried it, but I, I will try. And uh, how is your like 
how you how are you balancing your work life and your personal life and everything college life uh it's going okay till we get like new assignments every week mm -hmm. then it got messed up because then i have work then i have study then i have like classes and then i go to my work for like closing store closes at 9:30 so i'll be home like at 11 so like then i'll stay all night to complete my assignments or like presentation and all that right now like surviving and trying to like my trying like very best to manage it till now i have not really skipped my any of my assignment or anything so like i'm proud worth it <laughs> Just What about you? Have you like missed any assignment by any chance? Like no, like I always do the assignments but there was one time like I forgot to submit the assignment and but professor was very good like who was which professor was that? I forgot. I, I don't know the name. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you don't know the professor? <laughs> no. Oh, like, no. oh my god. Just I need to think. Ungrateful student right here. <laughs> no, like yeah. You know, I don't know he or she. Wow. You don't even know the I'm just it, uh, disappointed yeah, right now. Yeah, because I think I have like short memory loss. I hope loss. that professor uh, is watching this right now. So, yeah. Because there are many good professors who are here to help students. You know, sometimes even if we are like late in the assignment, they will yeah. just help us, help they us will, out. They like extend the due date. Yeah, like, that's some, that's a good part. Some professor don't. Some don't. They were like, like no. But you know this what? Date or this date. You know what? Like you have to create a good impression to the teachers to like. Yeah. For everything. Oh, <laughs> like you, you do, you do. Actually, I'm not good at studies. Like I never tried to study hard. I mean, I was an average student, but I always try to maintain a good relationship with the teacher. And I hope they're watching that. I, I mean, like it's it's good because whenever you just have like. a good relation with the student teacher like it he it helps a lot for us you know mm -hmm. yeah kind of yes yeah. but like i try to stay away <laughs> but like i don't want to be in teachers uh, eyes because yeah. whenever they ask question they be like okay you tell me the answer i'm like don't ask me <laughs> i won't <laughs> i'm okay with online classes though i i'll say answers in online class if they ask me i'll like, and mute myself and speak the answer but if they are asking me like in person i'm like even if i know the answer my friends will be like speak i'm like no that's okay let other people speak yeah i'm okay without participation marks in class that's why like it's just because of the participation marks they yeah, should yeah, have tried to, to yeah we force speak like even if we don't want to speak then we you just have have, we need a marks we need to get past yeah. so we just need to speak even if it's wrong we speak <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you get in bed like oh my god <laughs> and this is a thing like uh when like professor ask you question you know every single like every like answer of every single of them but they will ask you the one that you don't know <laughs> oh my god i don't know how this how they learn this so much yeah. like uh in last semester like uh, had arnav sir class and uh, he used to ask like question to like literally everybody mm. and then whenever he used to like question other people other student i would know the answer I'm like oh, this is the answer this this and that and then whenever he used to ask me i'm like What? Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Can you explain the question? Yeah. Yeah. This has happened to me a lot. Like bad luck. As as we can hear from many students, that is very hard for their day to day life to just manage everything. Mm -hmm. So, any tips for everyone? Yeah. So, talking from my own experience, for my second semester, uh, I had to change. my entire schedule at work as well because the shifts were already allotted so i have to give away my shift because i have my classes on those times so it was hard for me because we, we i don't really get much shifts because i work in retail store but still like i think it's uh, much better to give more importance to the studies uh, and work within like 20 hours per per week safer option than taking a risk yeah like i i have heard from like seniors like if we just work more than the rules 
then mm. we might not even get the PGWP. Yeah, so we can even get, get like deported and yeah, stuff. Yeah, so we should just stick with the rules. Yeah, like that's that's what my mom also suggests me every time. Let's like, just don't focus on work. Like mm. if it's enough for you to like pay the rent and just yeah for the groceries, then you should try to be like more focused on your studies because. The study is the thing that like help you at the end. Build your knowledge and build your career. Yeah, so money can on like any time. I mean yeah, like but still sometimes it's okay. Yeah, some some <laughs> sometimes you get greedy, we are human <laughs> at <laughs> yeah. the end. But yeah. It's all for like better future, so now you do we just have to focus on your studies. I think it's sometimes you should give yourself some break, you know, from study, work, and all that. Give yourself time as well for your for your mental peace, for your body. It's all about managing time. To be honest, like uh, attend your classes on time, and then go to your work, and you still have some time left. You make it more meaningful or happier. Yeah. So the one suggestion that I would give is like make friends, make yeah, a lot of friends. Make friends. The Friends were the one like who just helped me like to just get not to get like homesickness, you know, when yeah. when we're the first time traveling. So everything was new for us. I mean like the first first flight, first mm -hmm. like first new country, you know, everything. Oh, yeah. And it was all like uh, easy bit due to like friends. You know? Always never lose hope, guys. Never lose hope. Go for it. And the main thing, like how how did you like find the job, you know? Oh, like, so like I I got job after like one month. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. That's I. Yeah, like I have a lot of friends who haven't got job till now. Like they've been jobless for five six months. Oh yeah. It's it's very hard. But yeah, it's like a kind of like a major problem. I think that's also one of the reason why uh, students are kind of depressed. Yeah, because, because they're not getting a job and they have to uh, ask money for their parents, which is kind of like depressing. Yeah, it's very depressing. You, you don't want to ask them, ask money, right? Because yeah. you feel like uh, being burdened and all that. So at the end, I would just say, you know, study would be more fun. Believe me, trust me on that. And uh, yeah, don't lose hope too early. And that's all I would say. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this podcast. Uh, please do keep supporting us. This is our first podcast, so we were like a bit nervous and all. But you guys can also get a chance to be here and share your own experience and uh, have fun. Thank you. Thank you.